Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Jamon, cured ham Spain is famous for its exquisite cured hams, such as Jamon Iberico and Jamon Serrano. Thinly sliced Jamon is often featured in bocadillos, sandwiches, or served on its own as a tapa, providing a savory and flavorful bite. El Jamon es un tipo de carne curada y ajimada que se obtiene a partir de las patas traseras del cerdo. Es un alimento muy popular en muchos países, especialmente en España, donde el Jamon Iberico es considerado una delicia culinaria. El preciso de producción del Jamon comienza con la salazón de las patas de cerdo, que se cubren con sal durante un periodo de tiempo para deshidratar la carne y eliminar la humedad. Luego, se proceed al lavado y sacado de los países. Después de este preciso, el jamón se cura y homa en secaderos o bodegas durante varios meses o incluso años, dependiendo del tipo de jamón y del grado de curación de salva. Existen diferentes tipos de jamón. Entre los más conocidos se encuentran el jamón serrano y el jamón ibérico. El jamón serrano es más común y se produce a partir de cerdos blancos. Por otro lado, el jamón ibérico se obtiene de cerdos de raza ibérica y se considera una variedad de mayor calidad debido a la alimentación de los cerdos y su crianza en libertad en las tejesas. El jamón se suel corta en lanchas finas y se serve como parte de una tabla de embutidos, como ingredientes en bocadillos o como acompañamiento en platos diversos. También puede ser utilizado en la preparación de recetas como tapas, ensaladas o pasta, y es importante mencionar que el jamón es un alimento rico en proteínas, vitaminas y minerales. Pero también contiene grasa. Por lo tanto, se recomienda consumirlo con moderación dentro de una dieta equilibrada. Chorizo. Chorizo is a spicy Spanish sausage made from pork, paprika, and various spices. It is commonly grilled or pan-fried and served in a crusty bread roll, used as a filling in empanadas, or added to traditional dishes like paella. El chorizo es un embutido originario de España y ampliamente consumido en varios países de habla hispana. Se elabora a partir de una mezcla de carne de cerdo picada, especies y condimentos, que se introduce en una tripa natural o artificial y se deja curar. Existen diferentes variedades de chorizo, cada una con sus características particulares. Algunas de las más conocidas son chorizo español, ESL más popular y se produce en toda España. Se caracteriza por tener un sabor intenso y picante, debido a la mezcla de carne de cerdo, pimentón y otras especies, chorizo criollo, y es muy común en varios países de América Latina. Suel ser menos picante que el chorizo español y se condimenta con ajo. Pimentón y diferentes especies locales, chorizo argentino, y es una variedad típica de Argentina. Se elabora con carne de cerdo y vacuno, y se sazona con ajo, pimentón, oregano y otras especies, chorizo mexicano, y es ampliamente utilizado en la gastronomía mexicana. Se caracteriza por ser más suave y menos picante que el chorizo español. Se adereza con chiles y especies mexicanas, como el comino y el cilantro. El chorizo es y puede consumir de diversas formas. En algunos casos, es y cocina a la parrilla, a la plancha o es y frit. También se utiliza como ingredient en platos tradicionales, como la paella, el cocido, los tacos, las arepas y muchas otras preparaciones culinarias. 
Es import antitena en cuenta que el chorizo es un alimento rico en grasas y sodio, por lo que se debe consumir con moderación. También existen versiones de chorizo vegetariano o vaginal, elaboradas con ingredientes de origen vegetal para aquellos que siguen una dieta vegetariana o vagina. Pimentos de Padrón Pimentos de Padrón are small green peppers from the region of Padrón in Galicia. They are typically pan-fried with olive oil and sprinkled with sea salt. While most are mild, some can surprise with a spicy kick, making them a fun and addictive street food snack. Los pimentos de padrón son un tipo de pimiento verde originario de la localidad de padrón en Galicia, España. Son pequeños y de forma ligeramente alargada, con un tamaño similar al de un dedo, lo que hace especial son los pimentos de padrón y es su sabor y su nivel de picante que puede variar de uno a otro. La mayoría de los pimentos de padrón son suaves y dulces, pero aproximadamente uno de cada diez puede resultar sorprendentemente picante. Los pimentos de padrón es y su len cocinar enteros, generalmente salteados en aceite de oliva caliente hasta que se ablandan y se doran ligeramente. Se suelen servir como tapa o aperitivo en la gastronomía española. Traditionalmente se sazonan con sal gruesa antes de ser consumidos. Esta deliciosa tapa y es conocida como pimentos de padrón, unos pican y otros no, debido a la incertidumbre sobre que pimentos serán picantes y quails no. Y es un plato muy popular y se disfruta especialmente durante la temporada de verano en España. Además de su sabor característico y su potencial picante, los pimentos de padrón también son una fuente de vitaminas y minerales. Son bajos en calorías y ricos en vitamina C, vitamina E y antioxidantes. Y es importante tener en cuenta que, aunque la mayoría de los pimentos de padrón son suaves, siempre existe la posibilidad de encontrar uno picante. Por lo tanto, al degustarlos, y es recomendable tener en cuenta la posibilidad de que alguno pueda ser más picante de lo esperado. Gambas al ajillo, garlic shrimp gambas al ajillo are succulent shrimp cooked in olive oil with garlic and chili flakes. This flavorful dish is often served sizzling hot in a small clay dish, accompanied by crusty bread to soak up the delicious juices. Gambas al ajillo is a popular Spanish dish that translates to garlic prawns in English. It's a simple and delicious dish that showcases the flavors of fresh prawns or shrimp, garlic, and olive oil. Here's a recipe for gambas al ajillo. Ingredients, 1 pound, 450 grams, of fresh prawns or shrimp, peeled and deveined, 6 to 8 cloves of garlic, thinly sliced or minced, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, 1 teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Adjust according to your spice preference, 2 tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, salt, to taste, lemon wedges, for serving, instructions, heat the olive oil in a large skillet or frying pan over medium heat, add the sliced garlic and red pepper flakes to the pan. Saute for about 1 to 2 minutes until the garlic becomes fragrant and lightly golden. Be careful not to burn the garlic. Increase the heat to medium-high and add the prawns to the pan. Season with salt to taste. Cook the prawns for about 2-3 to three minutes on each side until they turn pink and are cooked through. The cooking time may vary depending on the size of the prawns, so keep an eye on them. Sprinkle the chopped parsley over the prawns and give them a quick toss to coat them evenly. Remove the pan from the heat and let the prawns rest for a minute. Serve the gambas al ajillo hot directly from the pan. You can squeeze fresh lemon juice over the prawns for extra freshness and tanginess.
It's also common to serve them with crusty bread on the side to soak up the flavorful garlic-infused oil. Enjoy your delicious gambas a la Jillo. Calamaris, fried squid calamaris fritos, or fried squid rings, are a popular street food item found in coastal regions of Spain. The tender and crispy squid rings are typically served in a cone with a squeeze of lemon juice and a side of aioli, garlic mayonnaise. Calamaris, also known as squid, is a popular ingredient in many Mediterranean and Asian cuisines. It can be prepared in various ways, such as fried, grilled, or stewed. Here's a recipe for classic fried calamaris. Ingredients, 1 pound, 450 grams, of fresh squid, calamari, cleaned and cut into rings, 1 cup all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon paprika, salt and pepper, to taste, vegetable oil, for frying, lemon wedges, for serving, instructions, in a large bowl, combine the flour, paprika, salt, and pepper. Mix well, heat vegetable oil in a deep frying pan or pot over medium-high heat. The oil should be about 2 inches deep. Dip the squid rings into the flour mixture, coating them thoroughly. Shake off any excess flour. Carefully drop the squid rings into the hot oil, a few at a time, to avoid overcrowding the pan. Fry them for about 2-3 to three minutes until they turn golden brown and crispy. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to remove the fried squid from the oil and transfer them to a paper towel-lined plate to drain excess oil. Repeat the frying process with the remaining squid rings. Serve the fried calamaris hot, with lemon wedges on the side for squeezing over the squid. They are often enjoyed as an appetizer or as part of a seafood platter. You can also serve them with a dipping sauce like aioli or marinara sauce if desired. Note, be cautious when frying the squid as it cooks quickly. And overcooking can make it tough. It's best to fry them in small batches to maintain the oil temperature and ensure crispy results. Enjoy your crispy and flavorful calamaris. Tortilla española, tortilla española, or Spanish omelette, is a hearty dish made with eggs, potatoes, and onions. Served in thick wedges, it is a common street food item and a beloved tapa in Spain. Tortilla española, also known as Spanish omelette or Spanish tortilla, is a classic and beloved dish in Spanish cuisine. It consists of simple ingredients such as potatoes, eggs, onions, and olive oil. Here's a recipe for a traditional tortilla española. Ingredients, 4 to 5 medium-sized potatoes, peeled and thinly sliced, 1 medium-sized onion, thinly sliced, 6 large eggs, salt, to taste, olive oil, for frying, instructions, heat a generous amount of olive oil, about half a cup, in a large non-stick frying pan over medium heat, add the sliced potatoes and onions to the pan, ensuring they are submerged in the oil. Cook them gently for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring occasionally until the potatoes are tender but not brown. Using a slotted spoon or a mesh sieve, transfer the cooked potatoes and onions to a large bowl, allowing the excess oil to drain. In a separate bowl, beat the eggs and season with salt. Add the cooked potatoes and onions to the beaten eggs. Gently fold and mix everything together until the potatoes and onions are evenly coated with the egg mixture. Wipe the frying pan clean and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Heat the pan over medium-low heat. Pour the potato and egg mixture into the pan, spreading it evenly. Use a spatula to gently shape the edges of the tortilla. Cook the tortilla for about 5 to 7 minutes or until the bottom is set and golden brown. To flip the tortilla, place a large plate or a flat lid over the pan. Carefully invert the pan to transfer the tortilla onto the plate. Slide the tortilla back into the pan, uncooked side down. 
Continue cooking for another 5 to 7 minutes until the other side is set and golden brown. Once cooked, remove the tortilla from the pan and let it cool for a few minutes before slicing. Serve the tortilla española warm or at room temperature, cut into wedges. It's often enjoyed as a tapa, appetizer, or as a main course. You can accompany it with a green salad or serve it with bread. Churros. Churros are deep-fried dough pastries, often dusted with sugar and served with a cup of thick hot chocolate for dipping. They are a beloved street food treat, enjoyed especially during breakfast or as an afternoon snack. Churros are a popular Spanish treat consisting of fried dough pastry that is typically enjoyed with a cup of thick hot chocolate. They have a crispy exterior and a soft, doughy interior. Here's a recipe for homemade churros. Ingredients, 1 cup water, 2 tablespoons sugar, 1 half teaspoon salt, 2 tablespoons vegetable oil, 1 cup all-purpose flour, vegetable oil, for frying, cinnamon sugar, optional, for coating, hot chocolate, for serving, instructions, in a medium saucepan, combine water, sugar, salt, and vegetable oil. Bring the mixture to a boil over medium heat, remove the saucepan from heat and add the flour. Stir vigorously until a smooth dough forms. The dough should pull away from the sides of the pan. Heat vegetable oil in a large frying pan or pot over medium-high heat. The oil should be about 1 to 2 inches deep. Transfer the dough into a piping bag fitted with a star-shaped nozzle or a zipper lock bag with a corner snipped off. Carefully pipe 4 to 6 inch long strips of dough into the hot oil. Use a knife or scissors to cut the dough from the piping bag. Fry the churros in small batches, turning them occasionally, until they are golden brown and crispy. This should take about 2-3 to three minutes per batch. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to remove the fried churros from the oil and transfer them to a paper towel-lined plate to drain excess oil, optional. While the churros are still warm, roll them in a mixture of cinnamon and sugar to coat them. Serve the churros warm with a cup of thick hot chocolate for dipping. Note, be cautious when working with hot oil. Use a thermometer to ensure the oil is around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius for frying the churros. Enjoy your homemade churros. They make a delightful treat for breakfast, dessert, or a special occasion.